Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an app image using App Image Builder. For the purpose, we are going to be creating an app image from a cute QML application. Let's start by downloading the application source code. Once the application source code gets downloaded, we are going to configure our application and app is, is it going to be released. Then we are going to install it into Aptur using this command. As you can see, all the, the application resources and binaries got installed in the Aptur. We'll see that there is a desktop file and an icon. Those are required to properly configure the application. Now let's generate an app image builder recipe. For this, we're going to use the command app image builder generate. It will run our application and will detect the libraries that are loaded in front time. Those low libraries get mapped to the packages that provide them using dpk, dpkg query. And we are prompted with a set of questions about our application. First th thing is the application ID. We should use a uh, reverse domain notation. Then we have the application name, the icon, the version, the executable, the arguments, and the architecture. All those fields are loaded from the desktop file. That's why it is important to provide a desktop file along with our binaries. Once the generator completes, you will find an app image builder UML file. Let's take a look into it. The UML file will have two main sections, an app tour and an app image. The app tour is the folder where all the bundle gets constructed and the app tour is the final uh, file that gets generated. In the app info section, you will find all the answers to the question you were made before. Then comes the runtime configuration where the library paths are set. Next, the APT. As you can see, the key URLs are empty. That's be that is because App Image Builder cannot guess their, their path or, or URLs. So we have to manually fill them. Ubuntu keys get stored in the Ubuntu key ring. We have snippet here for with the proper URL but in case you need a different key, you can look for it in the keys, Ubuntu key server. As all the Ubuntu sources use the same key, we can remove the rest. In the case of the KDE Neon, we have to find the key into the, the project, the repository source there. And this is the uh, source line that is not required by our recipe, so we can safely remove. After that comes the include list. There are listed all the packages that requires our application. Then the exclude, the, the apt exclude list and the file exclude list. In those exclude lists, you can like list packages to get removed or files. At this point, we can create a, we can build 
or app image. App image builder will start by downloading all the APT configuration. This is gonna take a while. Once the APT repository's information gets downloaded, App Image Builder proceeds to download the download the actual files. And then the package files get deployed into the app too. Finally, the runtime is configured. Now, App Image Builder will proceed to test the generated app there. You see, it runs well on Fedora, on Debian, or Center Ubuntu. And that's all. Now the final app image gets created. Good, we have working app image. This is it. I hope you have found it simple. And if you have any doubts, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.